Coach Kaz, good to see you. And even better, we're talking baseball. Uh, tell me, how has your team been preparing for this season to start, which it will this weekend? Well, thanks for having me, Brian. Uh, well, we've been very fortunate. The weather's been actually conducive for us to be outdoors practicing and training. So even this past weekend, we were able to go down to Arizona for a quick weekend trip down there just to get our boys ready as the weather definitely was not conducive baseball weather out here in the Rockies. So uh, we're excited. Um, our boys, have, we've taken almost a year off, it feels like, with the COVID from last year, getting our season cut short. So this uh, will be a true challenge right out of the shoot when we go down to Baton Rouge and play LSU and La Tech and Notre Dame. Um, but I'm looking forward. Uh, I think our strengths of our team, if you're looking at it this year, is going to be our pitching staff. Uh, real excited about our pitching staff this year. A um, little bit different than uh, normal years as uh, with in regards to the with COVID. Uh, actually, we have a there's going to be a lot of things that are going to happen over the course of the year in regards to from COVID testing and getting kids put in isolation and quarantine. So we have some pitchers that are getting some at-bats. They're playing some other positions, along with all our position players. Our kids are hopefully going to be multifaceted and play multiple positions because we never know what's going to happen and who's going to have to play where. Because one thing I don't want to ever have to do during the course of the season is have to cancel a game because of not enough players or not enough players at a certain position. So with that, uh, we are going to compete uh, at our highest level. And once again, I think the main understanding that people have to have when you go, when you're at an Air Force Academy you're first and foremost a cadet and secondly our job here is to create uh, leaders of character and warriors for our Air Force and that's my job here is to make warfighters for us and with this whole COVID situation that kind of gives them an, an example of some of the things they'll have to be dealing with as they go out as leaders in the Air Force right they're gonna uh, have to be prepared for anything you bet um, if you get on deployments uh, things change all the time and these kids got to be flexible and be ready to adapt to anything that that's uh, thrown at them and be able to overcome it so i think this is a, a great lesson that we're all learning is to be able to truly uh, for myself is inspire and motivate these young men that later on in life um, all these trials and tribulations that they're currently going through is going to benefit them in life head down to louisiana you're going to take on louisiana state louisiana tech and Notre Dame, you do this every other year. So this is some high caliber competition you're taking on. It helps that the, uh, the, the guy in charge of the LSU used to coach here, but just tell me a little bit about this relationship and why you play these teams. Well, I think it's important for our kids, especially once again, uh, the, the higher calling that they're going to go do is serve and fight for our country. Let's play the best teams that we possibly can that are out there. And of course, playing Paul Maneri at LSU, I mean, he's a very avid supporter of our military. And I think there's not a better opening night is going to be playing against LSU because uh, uh, Coach Maneri gets it, uh, what we do and why we do it. And he is the first one to say thank you to our boys and especially thank you for their service that they're going to provide to our nation. Uh, then also playing La Tech and Notre Dame, and you're looking at some unbelievable talented programs that are there. And over the course of the year, we have a 47-game schedule. And looking at that 47-game schedule, 36 conference games, I mean, well, there is, this is going to be probably the toughest schedule that we've ever had. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I, I, I love the journey that our kids are going to get to go on, and we're going to grow and mature and develop, and these kids are going to become better for it. Yeah. Talk to me about what you want to see, because – you could practice, you know, till the cows come home and, and not know what you have. So how ex exciting is it? And what do you want to see your team do in these first few games? Well, I think first and foremost, that's paramount to our program is the fact that we're going to play the game the right way. Uh, our kids are going to hustle on and off the field. Uh, they're going to attack. And I think that's the mentality that we have in our program is to attack. And that's whether it's on the baseball field, in the classroom, in the weight room, in their military responsibilities. Because my job here, I'm, I'm a dad but I am a retired military officer, and I want to ensure that at the end of the day, these young men that I get to be around are going to become not just young men, but they're going to become great men, great husbands, and great fathers. And it, it's, uh, you know, paramount to me is ensure that that happens. You know, I put no limits or boundaries on our boys, and I want them to grow and experience life as, as much as they possibly can. And competing on the friendly field of strife, there's no better way to understand and learn about their own leadership capabilities and qualities that they have than competing. And so I want to compete against the best teams that are out there. Um, and when the, when the nine innings are over, and you know, we'll see what, what, what the actual scoreboard's going to say, but we're going to compete the right way. And it's going to be a hard, faceted, hard-nosed team that we're, you know, every team better be ready for us. Coach Kaz, thanks for the time. Stay safe, safe trip, and uh, have fun out there. Thank you, Brian.